prime example that I'm proving that Earth, the Earth doesn't make this shadow. You can see this shadow is not smooth and roundish and regular. So we're going to go through some pictures and we'll go to the dates and times on them. Okay? And you know that I'm getting it from Kaylee Bureau. But let's get this one. So it's not Earth doing it. Okay? It's not the Earth's shadow. The Earth's shadow cannot cover the sun like that. And I'm going to show you a prime example here in a second. We'll pop out and we'll be at Healy Bureau. What we need to find out is what, we're going to nail it down to what quadrants. As you can see that, that's not the shadow of Earth doing that. The sun's too huge. Now there's a meatball out there, meatballs that are huge enough to do that. See? So we're catching them in their little lie. And yeah, fall solstice, it comes around. But fall and winter, so anyway. And as you see, so we'll keep going through these. So there's no way that the Earth shadow. Now, if it was to go right into the satellite's lens, that would be a different story. But we, I showed you on the map, and I'll show you again here in a minute, that there's no way that there's anything in front of any of the several cameras right now to make a shadow in the lens. And I've already showed you in the last video that uh, the shadow is the same size as the object in space. So there's some huge stuff out there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we'll go to the dates and times on these, but we'll go ahead and pull up uh, a base for here. We'll show you that uh, we're going to go to full, full, full throttle on healing view here. You can see there's no shadow here. You see what I'm saying? So this is a recent shot right now. It's supposed to be live. I don't know how delayed it is. And you can go up big or small and as you can see that side this whatever quadrants we have here and we can pick it out because you can see the sunspots so you can figure out the quadrants okay so there's no dark shadow where those cameras are at and there's see there's way more than a and b there's these cameras let me show you i'm just going to try to enlarge the like area go this way oh nope oh too fast so, there's no shadow in this, on these spots, and you can go out with the quadrants for the spots for the day. So we're going to know what camera the AIA-304 is, and we've, it's been for a long time, but I'm gonna be, we're going to be able to get it down to the NASA after which satellite it is, because check this out, watch this. Yeah, watch. Watch your ticker, your time. And you're going to know that that's not Earth's shadow, okay? So what the hell is so damn huge out there in our solar system, okay? Because it shadows the sun, okay? And I, I understand what they're saying as they always say that it's, but it would have to be going, now I'm going to believe it if we can find out which satellite is A1A304, but check this out. Remember, the shadow of Earth is only the same size as the shadow of Earth, okay? It'd have to be in the lens of the camera. And that was this here video here, okay? So the clear explanation, ladies and gentlemen, in order for the Earth, i.e. the Earth, to get in a lens on one of these satellites, remember the satellites can be high or lower than the, the circle, this IU distance that we stay in. Remember, this satellite is ACE. This is B, and then we have our others, Kepler, Spitzer, this is Spitzer here, Kepler. Now, more than likely, what I'm figuring is that must have had to have been something like Mars going by Spitzer. So A1A must be Spitzer, because that's the only thing I can figure at the earliest time. And then we got to go check our dates on the footage. And then you watch your dates here. Your dates are clicking along here. But then again, it could be Kepler. I'm really thinking it's Kepler. I'm thinking it's Kepler. So Mercury's getting in the way, but it can't cast a shadow. It's just it's casting a shadow into Kep 
King Kepler. His lands. So that's going to be the only... If they say that that's exactly what... Because that's the only satellite that I would see where the lands... When the camera's shooting at the sun... Camera's shooting at the sun... That a shadow would cross in front of the lens because it'd have to cross in front of the lens of the camera to make a big shadow on the sun because the shadow of every object in space is the same size as the object that it is. And I showed you in that one video. And no matter what, this could be the, what causes us to get some of our cross phasing that we see here. We're getting cross phasing. And then the other, uh, remember it's got to be in the lens. And then we got here, we got this wild action, and there. Boulder. We've had a couple C's today, so it's no big deal. There's our couple C's that we've had. Okay, so. And then we're at AIA171. Different lens. Different satellite. Because we get a way different signature, as you see there. Check this signature out compared to the last one. So now you got to compare these up. And it's pretty wild and weird. Because it would have to be in the lens, as I say. Either that or we're actually getting what the meatballs start. Here we are at AIA 131. You can read it right there. And what I'm saying is check this here now right there. You see different satellite. We're going to get a different sig signature here, a different shadow. A little bit the same as the last one. But the first one I showed you is a completely different signature than this. So there's something that puts a twisted. Check the twisted. Because you're going to see the shadow be a, have a twist in it. Something that's dark that moves hella fast is what it is. But you see it's got a twisted shadow. There is something huge and dark out there that twists fast. It's like we have a hyper okay, a hyperbolic star that rotates real fast. This is like we have a black star, a black planet that hyperbolically rotates real fast. And is huge and puts off a shadow into the lens has to be into the lens because there's in, either that or there's it's one of the meatballs that actually rotates around that flipping fast and it's not perfectly around or there's three of them because you can see the humps in them and you know, it matches up back up the video to the yellow footage and the other one the 171 and you're going to see it's not you see that how it's not a i can back that up watch as it comes in see as it's not a perfectly round there's way more than one object there's more than one object let me freeze it. Oh. Oh. Hard to freeze. Hang on. Let me freeze it. You see how I'm saying? There's, way, there's a roundish there. And there's a roundish here. And it's not perfectly round. It's like it could be a star, a dying star. A black star, a black dwarf, brown dwarf. Okay, and then there's also up here. And no matter what, how can they say that it's Earth that's shadow that does it? That's not Earth's shadow. Okay, and if, if even possibility, if they go to the, okay, it's the electrical, magnetical of the earth, how I've always showed you that it flickers, okay, the electrical, magnetical line, I'll give you a shot picture of what I'm talking about. Now you can cut and paste these or, or write this in and you can catch this stuff and get the links. I don't have time for links, but this is on YouTube. You get it from Heliodor. And here it is. If it's an SDO, Solar Observatory, then it means that it's one of their satellites in the fall solstice because of its orbit must get close enough to the lens of the other camera of the other satellite. Then they must, these AIAs must be small satellites and they get in the optical view area of another one. That's the only explanation. And obviously, I'm not trying to help NASA. I don't want to help that. I mean, I'd love to help NASA. Wouldn't mind working for NASA. But what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to help them with an excuse and then you can even see more in here and then let me freeze and let's zoom in on our shadow on this signature that we've got on this shot here okay let's check it out out you see it's got to be an object of space because you can see we can get way in on this and I'm going to just scroll down and then over a little bit but there's too many different shapes it's not a satellite that's doing it and it's not the shadow of earth that's doing it into the lens and i.e. I keep saying that because of the only one the only thing it could be is some kind of a shadow of mercury going into the lens on Kepler and then that means that that's where the AIAs are coming out of it is coming out of Kepler because Spitzer is this one here okay, these are satellites 
otherwise you got right here earth earth mercury uh, mars is the red and then green is venus okay so because we'll zoom in on this shadow too okay we'll go to 400 on on this one okay that's the outline of the shadow so and as you can see we get a planet here this almost looks like let me zoom in on this see this right here this is basically what we've always been known and told that there's like part of the meatballs we're getting a real good picture of the shadow there let me zoom in on that what i'm talking if i have to go to my magnifier i'm going to go to this here round here that's got these two little holes and this is on the front of the pink floyd album too uh, hang on. we're going to custom up another 99. And see, you can see the roundness, because that's not, you've seen the roundness of something there. Yeah, there it is down there to the right, to the left, I mean. But you see this circle here? See this? And see, that's what I'm saying, is this is the stuff that's up by Kepler, more than likely. It's putting off that shadow. Now, the rest of it, and then this is a good... That the magnetical, you see how the sun is doing its flares? See, this is the sun with its flares right here. They react to these planets that are out there. And this thing is huge, okay? And you're getting a little bit of a look of it right there. And you can even see some stars in it, for crying out loud, right there. But then those stars could be in front of the sun also, too. But you can see the roundness of this thing right here. Right there. Now I'll get the magnifier and go up a little bit more. Okay, remember, I can't point... But I might be able to drag the brown handle around. Hang on. But you can see the planet. I got my cursor, but it's round. And I gotta see, because I gotta be careful not to play the video. But I think I can take the magnifying glass around it, because the sun is flaring where you see it's bright. And then there's this dark circular object that I'm going with the handle. And then I move the video. I think I started it so so as you freeze and see the shadow come in you get this round object right here okay because this is the sun's CME action here okay and then this is the object that is causing the shadow okay and it looks like our one that has these three big old crater holes in it three or four and it looks like a face it honestly looks like a face sometimes when you see some of this footage of it. It's because this is our object that is. And if I can get this, cause see there's some stars that rotate around it. You see that there? Or planets. Because it's this size is the shadow should be this here. This should be how big this thing is. That darkness is the light curvature. It's so huge compared to let's see if I can get the magnifier to work here a little bit at this 999. Let's see if I can slide over to it. And you can see some of the stars. You see that's the darkness of that shadow. That's the front head of it. Okay, because where you can see real bright to the right. I mean, if I go up, you see that to the right and to the left. And remember, this object's way bigger than it's gonna. It basically comes in this area right here is where it comes in, and that's the size of the object that is basically doing this wild. And this thing is known to orbit the sun very fast. And you can barely see it as it pulls back because what I am zoomed in on, when I zoom in, I'm zooming in in this area here. Okay, and it's part of that shadow. And just you just look at the satellite map. Go back what I always kept on showing you on the satellite map. That it's got to be something bigger than, it's not Earth that's doing it. And there's very slight possibility that that could be Mercury doing that. Okay, Mercury because of from AI 304 from the 304 it's more straighter but when it draws back it's more of a so it's at the different cameras but they're pretty close to each other and it's not the cameras doing it they're not doing it to each other it's an object in space that's doing it and it's not Earth's it is not Earth's shadow okay because Remember, this is UC, UTC time, Zulu time, and we're going to go to check. Uh, remember, we want UTC time, and this is Central Standard Time, so it doesn't match. It can't be Mercury. 
So it can't be Mercury's shadow and it can't be Earth's shadow because this is the other satellite there. Kepler can't be it. 